Good morning. Today is Sunday. I like it here when it's quiet because you can hear the birds everywhere. I just saw two nice white ones here going through the plants. Um, yesterday I went to the beach. Well, first I dropped off my mom and my son at the airport. Um, it's a bit bittersweet to see them go, you know. we. Um, I liked showing Dubai to them both, like showing the Burj Khalifa and all these other things. But during the week, it's also hard that, you know, work keeps piling up. And um, it can also be a bit uh, taxing with Matteo when he has his, um, he had a few uh, emotional outbursts. Like he tends to be just like angry quite a lot. And of course it affects my mood as well. It's hard not to let it affect me. Um, so yeah, that's been a bit difficult to be honest. My mom also said he had issues uh, in the airport. He's like very negative overall and he, you know, he seems to think he knows better than everyone. And he always thinks things are unfair and he always sees like the negative aspect of things. He can be very sweet as well. You know, he can be very affectionate. He can be sweet, but it's just hard when it's unpredictable like that, you know? Uh, uh, so yeah, I also went to Kite Beach for a couple hours, just like two hours or so. Um, I was hesitant to go because I have a lot to catch up on. Then again, I felt it was a weekend and, you know, I should take advantage and get some sun, get some vitamin D and relax a little before I uh, get back to work, so to speak. Um, so what am I working on? It's primarily the videos, content. I am making the preparatory steps to get the workflows up and running, get the social media, media profiles up and running, to make content focused on Dubai and to promote it through social media channels such as the Facebook page. That page is one that I started years ago. I think it was like 2008 or nine or something when Facebook was still the up and coming number one. Well, up and coming, it was the number one um, social media platform and it's still very relevant, you know. It was also still growing, that's why I say up and coming. It was still growing rapidly and uh, engagement was really high. Now I feel like it's a lot harder to actually take advantage of the page even though it has it has about 320,000 followers but when you post something it's not guaranteed you're gonna see a lot of uh, engagement so I think that would have been different had I maintained it I kept it up and running properly and bolstered more of a community um, had been more consistent with posting things that also gets me back to like wondering what would have happened had I stayed in Dubai when I first visited in 2008. Um, things could have been very, very different. <laughs> the first time I was in Dubai was for around New Year's of, you know, 2008 to 2009. And it had always been a place that I wanted to visit and potentially live. Like I was writing, I had this website to post articles on called Undi. That was my graduation project and actually wrote articles myself about Dubai, you know, the, um, the Burj Al Arab and Burj Khalifa, which was then still going to be called Burj Dubai, I believe. Um, and it just, you know, it attracted me the fact that, you know, there's a city or a, an emirate, you know, a place that's building new uh, new land, like artificial islands, uh, the palm, uh, just building these massive projects that take huge amounts of um, resources, planning, innovation, and it's just impressive, you know. And I thought I would really, uh, yeah, feel at home perhaps there, you know, at the time. But it was right around the financial crisis and things felt a bit superficial, shallow back then in a way, like everything felt kind of empty, all these empty skyscrapers. Maybe it was just that I didn't find the right crowd right away because now I have a bunch of friends that I really enjoy hanging out with. But 
you know. Perhaps one of the main uh, things back then that made me feel a bit weird about the city was that after New Year's, normally in Belgium it's when, you know, there's the fireworks and then the party really breaks loose. And in Dubai, everyone just kind of lined up to go home after the fireworks. <laughs> so something I wasn't quite used to. And then we spent like several hours trying to find a place to get some drinks or just to get in. And everything was like fully, fully booked, either full or they didn't serve alcohol. Um, so yeah, at the time I was like, <laughs> you know, still young, trying to get parties on New Year's. And I remember that being a bit of a disappointment. Is that one of the reasons that I didn't end up staying? It's it's hard to say, you know. You kind of just feel the vibe of a place. A lot of places that I visit, I'll immediately get this feeling like, okay, they want to stay here and live here. Would I, would I want to? And I guess at the time there was just something missing. Whereas when I went this time, um, I really liked the idea of living in Dubai. Um, it doesn't feel, how do you say, it's just a feeling, you know, walking by the beach. It's similar to Mexico in a lot of ways, which is where I started feeling more home than, more at home than in Belgium. Um, my mom even says it, she says, you know, there's a lot of similarities in the lifestyles. It's more similar to there than it is to Belgium. And everything is just so easy. I feel in Belgium things get so complicated, you know. Um, there's rules on top of rules for everything. Here they also have uh, way more rules as compared to Mexico, but I feel it's a good in-between, like it's a good balance. In Mexico too, things are like too far a certain way. There they have, they might have strict rules regarding certain things, but nobody follows them and if you have money you can basically do anything. Uh, so I don't like that, you know, corruption aspect of things where rules are different for different people and there's no justice. Um, I feel that here it's, I haven't had experience here with the legal system, but on first sight and from, you know, what I've heard, at least it's not um, like the cops are looking for bribes rather than stopping crimes, basically.